Right. How are things going over here? Uh, not actually too bad. I've got another smith book, which is fantastic. Actually, you know what? Don't dig that. Just climb up there. That's actually going to be a bit of a tough fight for you. Let's uh, slow down. I need to select you. Select dwarf, equip. I would like you to have a health potion. Two, in fact. There we go. You will easily win that fight now. Uh, in the meanwhile, let's build up the scaffolds there. And get another ladder there as well. Oh, did I? Really? Oh yeah, maybe I did. Yes, there we are. Population just grew. Damn it, that's what they keep going for. Why did he run in? What derps? Okay, you know what? Go for it. Be brave. Oh, they're not going to go past that sign, are they? Okay. There you go. Be brave. Ish. Be brave ish. Actually, hang on. We'll, we'll go back there in a moment. Can I turn that off? Maybe I should just replace all the ceiling above him with sand. And then dig away the last support and just wait for nature to to uh, deal with the threat for me. That might be useful. What else could I make in this? Uh, decorative shield is what I want. Hmm. Yes, use the imp spell instead of killing my dwarf. Very, very good point. Go forth! Oh, they don't get attacked. Oh, that's glorious. That is really glorious. Very, very good advice there, Bowyer. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, continue replacing this iron. And then dig down the next level. What are you doing down there? Do get out, please. No, got no path. Ah, fine, I'll give you a portal. It's the only one I'm going to give you, though. Alright, okay, my imps seem to have nothing left to do. That cannot stand. Let us continue. Uh, don't mind that, actually. And we'll dig these up. What is attacking me? Okay, just a zombie, that's fine. Of course, they can just come down from up there, can't they? Mm. Thus bypassing my carefully constructed trap. How much stone do I have? Got 37. That'll have to be enough. Right. Who's going to be the brave dwarf who's going to do all of this work for me? You? No? Yes. Haha! -ha. Let's go. No. What on earth are you doing? Let's go! Oh, the mana potion's for me and not my uh, my dwarves. Oh, I see. Thank you, Kenken. Ken. Right, let's get up here then and seal this place off. First, destroy this nail. Then, destroy the ball. That is fine. You can run away. I don't mind. I would like to uh, place one of these down. Let's continue to build this place out. There we are. Slowly getting this place 
in order once again. Now, stone is obviously significantly harder for them to uh, break than dirt, but we'll see. Because they might just take a slightly different path this time. Not sure about that, but uh, I can hope. All right, there we go. Now you're going to have to fall down here with us. There. Fine. All right. Uh, leave on. The game is craft the world. The objective in a map. Uh, it gives you ooh, you've got goblins really. When did they show up? There are nightly raids by zombies and other such nasties. And basically, you start out with a with a group of dwarves and just a land that looks much like this everywhere. And slowly, you build up. Uh, build up a fort, gathering resources, processing resources, and gradually make your way through a tech tree. Now, the way the tech tree works is to unlock any um, the next step in the tech tree, you have to construct a sufficient number of items from what you currently understand. Um, so, for example, uh, if I make glass vase, it'll increase the progress in this tech tree by the amount of the yellow bar. And once that's all green, it'll unlock the next part. Some have multiple requirements. So for example, I can't do advanced stoneworks until I've done basic stoneworks and advanced decorating. And gradually you move through the tech tree, getting better items, better weapons, so on and so forth, and fighting off increasingly difficult hordes. Uh, as you can see, the timer there um, there's going to be basically uh, hellish portals that will open up that will uh, make my life quite difficult for a little while. And actually, I think Boya was uh, bang on the money there when they said to... No, stop it. Slow down. There we go. I should just uh, fill this whole area in. I think I shall. Though I'm not going to do it with stone. I'm going to do it with dirt. And, of course, there is a snail. Why am I not surprised? Please kill the snail. There we go. And we are just going to fill in this whole area with dirt. And thus, hopefully, discourage any further goblin... Uh, sorry, uh, undead attacks from that direction. that one off. This one. Unfortunately, I need to use the scaffold for this. Yeah. I should be able to just build them up here as well. Nope. There we go. Right, we are slowly filling in this area and it's going to make it... Well, I doubt they're going to path through this area anymore. That's the hope, anyway. There we are. But as you can see, you can uh, take direct control of your dwarves, which is a lot faster in many cases. There we are. And anything there? Hello. Talking about the moon, apparently. Probably meaning sleep. Now I've built some uh, traps in there. And some automated turrets. Which are currently dealing with the undead. And hopefully they will continue to deal with the undead for a little while. Whilst I continue to fill this in. Now that particular undead is not going to be a, a real threat to me. Because... No, no, stop. Ah, oh, crap. Ah... Uh, Bugger it. Wasn't fast enough. Oh well. But uh, the the sort of undead that we're going to see at the moment, not going to be much of a threat to us. Thankfully. Oh wow. They spawn in darkness, don't they? Imagine they do. There we go. But when it comes time for hell to attack, that may be a different matter entirely.
Punji sticks? What on earth are you talking about, boy? Let me take a sip of my tea while I read the chat. Okay, now that sign is currently preventing any more of my dwarves from dying, which is very nice. Also, I need to equip the uh, new dwarf. You are a cook. Yaris the cook. What a fine name. Let's get you some decent gear. Uh, what kind of backpack item am I going to give you? I will give you the serving spoon as you are a cook. I could give you a sieve, but I'm not going to. Where's our miller? Uh, well, you're not actually even trained as an archer, so there's not much point in that. Let me give you a different weapon. I'll give you a steel club. There we are. Our cook will also have a... Hmm, we don't have any more steel clubs. Well, that's unfortunate. Got archers, swordsman, climber, miner... There's also a smith. Make you a better smith. Uh, no, I think I'm going to have to give you one of the large skeletal items then. You can have this one. And you need an iron pickaxe and an iron axe. There we are. Fully equipped. Enjoy. Now, apparently I can also... Uh, Drink those mana potions, which I shall do now. Can I? No. I put them down there, maybe? No. Hmm. How do I equip mana potions then? Do I just use it on you? Did that give me mana? Oh, that's a kind of a silly way to do it if you ask me that I need to use my mana potions through one of my dwarves but uh, okay unless perhaps it's meant to be that the, the dwarf is the one casting the spell in which case I, I suppose I can see the logic behind it then All right, we're going to remove that and we're actually going to uh, pad this whole area out there we are okay Thanks, Dream Spawn. Uh, I wonder if I can buy skill books at the store. Let's have a quick look. I can buy food. I can buy various uh, comfort items. I can buy crazy gear. My goodness. I can make all of these later on, though. Um, 25. That's almost all of my money there. Must be a very nice piece of armor. Oh, I can buy them. Oh, that's quite nice. What on earth is that? Logger book. Oh, okay. Melee book. Hunter book. Swimmer. Mage book. Ah. Well, that's actually quite cool. I'll buy four mage books. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You see? Oh. Can I not? That is annoying. I'm going to say it now. That's really annoying. Uh, let's get someone over there. So that I, can, I can't dig through it either. Can I replace it? I can. Ha <laughs> ha. I am going to trick you into doing what I want. Oh, never mind. Someone picked it up. Thank goodness. Okay. Right. Equip. I have more mage books, which means I can give my mages some skill ups. Two skill ups each. Oh no, was it one of my mages that I lost? Well, that's utterly crap. It was, apparently. 
Okay, well, we're going to have a, another mage then. But, Terrace shall go back to being my mage, damn it. I wonder how they stopped being my mage. Uh, I guess you could be my other mage. There we go. I can recycle the weapon. Like this. I'm not at all sure what you mean. Unless you mean from the craft window, perhaps? Uh... Oh! Ah, that's not what I meant to do! <laughs> um... Place with a shadow of a weapon. Maybe it was in here? Enter shop, maybe? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I honestly don't know what you mean by sh the place with the shadow of a weapon. Uh, that's the only shadowed weapon I can see. Unless I'm just completely looking in the wrong place. Oh, did I just recycle it? Let me double check that. Got ten right now. Oh, yeah, you're quite right. Oh, my lord. Thank you very much. Well, that's significantly awesome. I'll get rid of all of those then. Sorry, I was being quite the derp. I didn't uh, pay attention to how many I had to begin with. Get rid of the stone pickaxe as well. Uh, we'll probably get rid of the uh, skeleton's rusty mace. Oh, wow. Got a little bit of uh, iron ore for that. That's quite useful. And a goblin spear. We'll get rid of that, too. Can I get anything from these? Yes, I can. My goodness, this is awesome. Unable to dismantle this item. Uh, unable to dismantle that one, either. That is very shameful. Uh, I imagine we can dismantle all of those, though. Can I dismantle these ones? No. Uh, wood armor can be dismantled. Again, a few bits and bobs back from that. Obviously, going to be keeping the leather armor. The regular backpacks, we'll dismantle those. That is fantastic. Uh, increases the efficiency of this swordsman skill. Ooh, that wouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and make... I think we've got two swordsmen, so let's make a couple of those. And find our swordsman. There we go. I'm afraid you're not going to have a backpack anymore, but still, you're going to be quite useful. Okay, thank you very much for that advice. That was fantastic. Oh dear. Well, then the chat should get a hold of itself. All the mods will get a hold of it. Guys, guys, I, I feel like I really need to... I didn't mean to do that, by the way, but... What I was going to say is I feel like you need to not be out there anymore. Ah, uh, no. That hurt. I could tell that hurt. I can tell by the pixels. Let's uh, get you out of this place, shall we? If we can, maybe. Where are the rest of my uh, scaffolds? There we go. You might be able to get out now, maybe. Possibly. Probably not, though. Uh, let's get rid of these ones, then. There we go. You now have a path out of this place. You know what? You've got full health. Take the hit. Like a dwarf. There we go. Now, leave. Please. Now. There we go. 
Really? Just, uh, whatever. You do whatever you want then, you crazy dwarf. Now then, I think we are almost ready to do stupid stuff. That is to uh, take on that boss creature again. But before we do, I think I'm just going to check out... What can I make? I'm going to make full steel items. We've got iron axe at the moment. Two, yeah. Where are the swords? This does how much? 17 damage. How much would a steel sword do? Steel sword would do 25. So that is definitely worth my time. So let's go ahead and make as much of this as we can. And whilst you're all working on that, go ahead, dig through this area. And we'll continue mining down here as well. Uh, yeah. There we go. This should give us a fair bit of ore to play with. And you know what? Let's uh, give you guys a portal to. After this next uh, wave of hell, we'll try again to take on that uh, creature, I think. Oh, wow. You can shoot through rock with your crazy magic? That's fantastic. It's also extremely OP. I feel it is, is it a little bit imber, honestly. I think you should be ashamed of yourself using such cowardly tactics. Even if they are awesome. Can you shoot him through it as well? What kind of wizardry is this? I mean, when it was wizardry, I knew exactly what kind of wizardry it was. But when you can shoot through the rock... I just think you don't understand how archery works, honestly. Please kill. Destroy utterly. There we go. And then dig through the rest of this place. No, don't dig that one. I just realized that someone was above you. There we are. Okay. Getting somewhere now. And now we can dig all that away. Hitting the silver. Carry on going through there, actually. All of my dwarves coming through the portal there. Using up the time that's left on it, unfortunately. What's wrong? Just go home. There we go. And... Okay, well, that isn't too bad. As long as we get some uh, nice new iron uh, steel items out of this, then uh, the endeavor will have been worth it, in my opinion. Not very much time left on this portal, though. You're going to want to get through there fast if you're going to do it at all. Alright, how is everything going down here? Not terribly bad, but... Uh, wow, they're all having a bit of a chat up there, aren't they? My goodness. Let's gather the wheat. And the sheep, apparently. And then I can get rid of all these scaffolds, which I can use elsewhere. Okay. Let's replant everything as quickly as you can. Uh, there's already a tree growing there. How? How can you be so fast? Oh, cookbook. That wasn't too bad. Actually, I could probably just do this manually with the, the dwarves. Rather than... Uh, Having them do this uh, just by me telling them where to put things, that would probably uh, solve a lot of the problems. Alright. How are we doing for food? Most tables still have some food on them, but not all of them. So, let's go ahead and cook some more food. 
We've got, oh, actually, we've got 31 bread. Never mind. Uh, in fact, we've got loads of bread. We've got loads of food. Just need to top everything up, really. And we'll place some more. Actually, we won't place any buns on there. We'll put bread down. Should probably have someone start uh, gathering fish again soon. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, I'll uh, wait on Silver Helms then. Oh, don't. Oh, I, I didn't even think of that. I assumed that uh, the plants would require, you know, sunlight being plants. But uh, if, if not, then sure, that, uh, that would make things a lot easier. Ah, there we are. Ha! On the right side as well. You know what? I would really like it if you could craft me some more mana potions for this. Because I am about to go through my mana something crazy. Ah, damn, I need water. Doesn't look like uh, they're coming on this side, though, so I'm going to go ahead and gather some water. Begin gathering water. Pronto. They're still doing it. You know what? If you're going to all pile up into a single hole, I'm just going to firebomb you. I won't even feel bad about it. I'll wait for you to all get in there first, though. Am I being attacked by something over there? Are they all in there yet? Oh, they're still going, my god. Actually, I'm going to firebomb these guys. That did virtually nothing. This will probably do significantly more something. Oh my god! That was awesome! But it looks like all of the boss mobs went this way, unfortunately. And they've cleared out quite a lot of my turrets. But we should still be okay, honestly. It's a shame that that one's gone. Maybe I should get rid of the uh, walls underneath and just replace more um, spike traps. Come to think of it. Because the turrets up there and there would be fine, I think. Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just dig that one down, and I'll just place a turret up there. If the skeletons are just going to keep doing this, then it's going to be easy for me to deal with it. A lot of EXP speaking from that, though. But yes, imps are the way forward. I agree. Go forth, imps. Gather everything. Glorious. And we're still going to get loads of EXP for this. I approve. Right, let's uh, get you guys over here. We want these broken up, and then I want this place filled in. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not really. Once again, I'm lying. Right. I'll also build another portal here. Oh, no, I haven't got enough mana now. Damn. I'll select you, and I'll just build this area up a bit. That's actually going to be hard, though, for me to do. So, I'll go up uh, side by side. Damn it. Okay, imps, come collect. Okay, dwarves, collect then. I, I don't mind, really. Can I not? No, absolutely not, apparently. Is it the imp, maybe? I think it may be. Uh, let's release you, then. Damn. Guess I'm going to have to do that manually. Okay, let's see got some things living down here I am going to build 
the scaffolding all the way up if I can. Where's the rest of my scaffolding? One is down there. There we go. And I should be able to just delete that as well. And then replace this whole area with spike pits. And finally, as soon as I get a little bit more, I'll... Uh, Go. Oh, that's going to hurt, isn't it? Yep. That is going to hurt indeed. Okay. Alright, let's... Uh, you know what? Let's just take these scaffolds away. I think we should have enough water at this point to craft a bunch of mana potions. Got plenty of water. Only two bottles, though. That's not so good. Let me make more glass. That'll do. No, Spectre, so I won't. Can I build walls on top of Skull? Oh, perhaps I can, actually. You may, in fact, be correct. Let's uh, get people through and building this up for me. There we go. That one there, if you would be so kind. Yeah, one there as well. Now, of course, they'll just burrow straight through that because I'm not making enough stone. Damn it! Ah, uh, bit of a derp. 